fond of? Lord Elrond. Strange for all to come so close to our borders. Something or someone has drawn them near. Ah, that may have been us. Welcome, Thorin, son of Thrain. I do not believe we have met. And what were you doing on the Great East Road? Kostain Torkuz. Zuranimid. Zornargis Obaxil. Our business is no concern of elves. For goodness sake, Sonin, show him the map. Erebor. Ah, Kirth Ethel. Moon runes. Can you read them? to be elves. Did you know that? Well, there's more to it than that, but I won't bore you with the details. I want you to forge me some elven mithril slippers so I can get back to me roots. I'll make it worth your while with this little gem that helps you find treasure items. <laughs> Stand by the grey stone when the thrush knocks, and the setting sun with the last light of Durin's day will shine upon the keyhole. We have to be standing in exactly the right spot at exactly the right time. Then, and only then, can the door be opened. There are some who would not deem it wise. Tell me, Gandalf. Did you think these plans and schemes of yours would go unnoticed? The dragon has long been on your mind. There is something at work beyond the evil of Smaug. Morgul Blade. They speak of a necromancer living in Dol Guldur, a sorcerer Summon the dead. Gandalf, Sauron is vanquished. No such power exists in this world. The question of this dwarvish company, however, troubles me deeply. My Lord Elrond, the dwarves, they've gone.
Undeterred by the advice of the elves and the White Council, the dwarves continued their journey to the Lonely Mountain. Their travels took them over the high pass, where the weather took a turn for the worse. Come <laughs> on. 
Where's the hobbit? Stone giants thundered in the distance. A company, almost a few dwarves short, gathered their bearings and desperately sought a cave in which they could take shelter from the storm. <laughs> 